One of the main challenges that traditional systems face when doing entity resolution is they assume that there is a single view that will satisfy all use cases. This just isn't the case. Quantexa has introduced something called dynamic entity resolution, which solves this problem. Let's bring this to life with an example. Over here, we have three example use cases, master data management, marketing, and financial crime. Fundamentally, these three different use cases will demand different confidence levels or tolerances around the match, and will have different access to data. So let's bring this to life with an example. For financial crime, we're going to want to cast the net wide and ensure we don't miss anything, because the cost of a miss is extremely high. So when I look at these three records, there's almost certainly enough to say that these are, in fact, the same person. So what we can do for financial crime is connect them together as though they're one. When we think about master data management, on the other hand, we need to ensure that we are extremely tight and confident in our matches. Why? Well, if I say that record one and record three are in fact the same customer, I'm going to treat them as such. I'm going to end up potentially sending customer one's information to customer three. So I have to have absolute certainty on the entity resolution. So this is a great example where for master data management, we may need a different view, a different confidence level around the matching. And in fact, given we only have a name and a date of birth connecting these two records, we may not be able to say with enough confidence that they are in fact definitely the same person. And when we look at record two, the same applies. So what you can see here is a fundamentally different view of the entities. For financial crime, we've cast the net wide, we've broadened it, and we've allowed these records to come together. Whereas in master data management, we've kept the entity resolution extremely tight to ensure we don't have any overlinking. And what we can do here is present these as potential matches to someone like a data steward for human intervention. The next thing I want to talk about is data permissioning and data security. As you'll be aware, there are things like GDPR regulations, which mean that you can't use certain records in certain use cases. So let's take an example. Imagine that record three, in this case, was a record where this customer had enacted their right to be forgotten. This means that this record cannot and must not be used for a marketing use case. We, of course, can continue to use it for financial crime, but for marketing, we mustn't. So what does that mean for the marketing view of the entity resolution? Fundamentally, it means rather than getting one entity or three entities, we, in fact, end up with two. We have an entity, record one over here, and we have another entity connected to record two over here. And record three is totally invisible to the marketing users because that record is one that they're not allowed to use for their particular use case. The way other systems attempt to solve this problem is via something called data masking. They will resolve this entity and then they will attempt to scrub out the data that each user or use case cannot access. The problem with this is it just doesn't solve the challenge. Firstly, you can't serve up different views at different confidence levels for your different use cases because you've resolved the entity once. And secondly, you leak data. I'm leveraging record three to bring together record two and one in this view of the entity. So as a, as a result, I've actually used a record I'm not allowed to use in marketing to generate that view. What this ultimately means is that for every other system on the market, you end up deploying copies, one version for marketing, one version for financial crime, one version for master data management. And this gives you huge additional cost and overhead for managing multiple copies of the system and multiple copies of the data. Quantexa has solved this problem via dynamic entity resolution. We have one instance of the platform with one set of data that can provide views to the different use cases, serving up the entities at the fuzziness level they require and based on the data that they're allowed to see.